Hi there! This is Wally Wobblehead, and this is Wally Wobblehead's Quick Bite. Oh! Um, thanks for tuning in today. Today is October the 18th, 2016, and today we are um, back in the kitchen putting together a um, sweet yogurt type, um, or it is a yogurt, uh, what I use it as a dessert, but can very easily be used as a breakfast for those of you who like to start the day off with yogurt. Um, Non-fat Greek yogurt, I like uh, Chobani, um, just because it's got the most favorable protein to carb ratio, uh, 22 grams of carbs to, uh, 22 grams of protein rather, to 11 grams of carbs um, per cup, relative to some others where you're getting more carbs um, per serving. Uh, so I go with this. Just on a side note, non-fat Greek yogurt is the base of two of the, of the three sauces that I make with the wobbles. It's a, uh, a tremendous way to cut fat while maintaining flavor. You can um, make uh, a mayonnaise, which I do all the time, um, to replace uh, a full fat mayonnaise at uh, one eleventh of the calories. Um, also, any sort of ranch, any sort of sour cream, any sort of creamy type thing. You can also make ice cream with it. There's a gazillion different things you can do with it. Uh, today what I'm going to do is put together a quick, balanced um, yogurt dish with non-fat Greek yogurt as the base. So hopefully you can see me over here. The first thing we're going to do is take a cup of the, uh, of the yogurt, so roughly a cup. Stick it, I'm using a big bowl here, and that's the right around the cup, around 225 grams. A cup of yogurt. Now, so right there you're getting 22 grams of protein, 11 grams of fiber, no fat. So with regards to flavoring it up, I like to add a little bit of cinnamon, just a touch of it which I keep here, so around, uh, say, a teaspoon of cinnamon. We also have, this is uh, peanut butter powder. PB Fit is the variety. It is, um, for every tablespoon, you're getting six grams of protein, four grams of carbs, and a lot of flavor. Uh, what makes it different from regular peanut butter is um, it's got a fraction of the fat. Peanut butter, like most uh, peanut sauces that you use, the peanut sauce that I use in the vegan wobble, um, this is what we use. So you get the flavor without the tremendous amount of fat. To sweeten it up, this is Trubia, which is stevia extract and erythritol, which is a sugar alcohol. Uh, two packets of this, which is uh, six grams. If you don't like this, you can definitely omit this. You get another six grams of carbs from adding this, but you're getting a significant amount of sweetness. You could also add honey, molasses, some sort of, you know, an agave nectar, if that's something that you'd like to um, add some sweetness to it. But remember that you're getting um, typically a ton of carbs. Uh, a tablespoon of honey, I think, has about 20 grams of carbs in it. So um, you just have to be careful. And if you're trying to accomplish this balance, where you're getting the same number of calories and carbs, proteins and fats, um, honey is tricky because you don't get the, the same amount of flavor. Um, so then a secret ingredient, this is a superfood called spirulina, which is a blue-green algae. Um, if you've never tried it before, don't just jump into it because it doesn't taste so good, but it's super healthy. So this is another thing you could also omit. And for the not know, I apologize. How are we doing today, buddy? I'm, uh, I like spirulina, blue green algae. It's delicious to me, but most humans don't like it. Right. So it's, um, I tried making a, um, a cake with it, and it um, pretty much destroyed it. I ate the cake, but um, not so great in the taste uh, profile. So, we've got uh, everything in there. The last thing, or the two more things to do. Uh, first is to um, cut up a uh, dice quickly, a, uh, and a small apple here, which you're going to get about 8 grams of fiber. If you've never done this before, 
Uh, it's, a little, it's not very tricky. You cut it into quarters and then into, um, and you take the core out rather, and then all you need to do is just dice it. And the end result is a pretty solid, you know, half inch dice of your fruit. This is about a half a cup, which is about eight grams of carbs, all sugar. So I'll put that at the end. Now the last thing to enter or to, to add into it is, right, because right here, including the um, apple, we've got roughly uh, 30 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, so the last element is the fat. How do we get the fat numbers up there? I like cod liver oil, believe it or not. Uh, there's actually a citrus that's added to this that actually makes it taste kind of nice. Uh, another option, coconut oil. So you want about 14, 15 grams, or roughly a tablespoon, which is this right here. So I'm going cod liver oil, just because I'm a little strange. Ferdinando the duck can attest to that. So we add that in there, blend it up. Now you could always use a smaller bowl, but and the color here is also a little interesting. You get a, with Halloween coming up, it kind of looks like uh, Slimer-esque. And then what we do is to plate it, try to get the majority of it out. This is definitely Halloween-y because of the color. And uh, spirulina, for those of you who don't know, is a super high protein uh, blue-green algae that is um, loaded with essential amino acids. So for the uh, plant-based eaters out there, for the vegans, who wouldn't be eating this because of the uh, yogurt in there, but um, if you haven't heard of it, give it a shot if you can get past the taste. And there you have it. This is a super healthy, balanced, I eat this stuff for dessert, but it's also good with breakfast. 30 grams of protein, 30 grams of, fiber, of um, carbs, about 14 grams of healthy fat in the form of cod liver oil, the omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids, and it tastes delicious. So there you go. Healthy breakfast yogurt treat or um, dessert. This is Wally Wobblehead signing out. Uh, we will see you manana at 2. Oh.